Hi everybody, welcome back and I hope you all are doing really really well. I guess it's okay to say that you're all here because you're preparing for a coding interview. So why don't you let me know in the comments below which company are you preparing for and I will try to pick the questions for those companies. And if you also have a LeetCode question that you would like me to address, why don't you leave that in the comments as well. With that, let's dive into today's problem, lead code 4, median of two sorted arrays. So we are given two sorted arrays, num1 and num2, of size m and n. We have to return the median of the two sorted arrays. For example, if our num1 is 1 and 3, and num2 is 2. So in this case, our merge sorted array is 1, 2, and 3. So 2 is the middle element, which is the median. So we have to return 2. But let's say our num1 is 1 and 2, and num2 is 3 and 4. So in that case, our merge sorted array is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the middle point is somewhere between 2 and 3. In this case, we will take the average of the two middle elements, 2 and 3, and send the value of average as the median. Okay, now let's think of a solution with help of an example. Let's say our num1 is 1 and 2, and our num2 is 3, 4, and 5. So in that case, our merge sorted array would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, right? In this case, our middle element, which is 3, that would be our median. As you can see, we at least need a merged sorted array. But let's think about it for a moment. Do we really need to have the merged sorted array beyond the middle point? No. Now let's create a function that will merge these two arrays until the middle point. So let's declare public int because we want the function to return the array of integer and let's call the function as merged array and we will pass the two arrays that needs to be merged so integer of array let's call it n1 and integer of array and let's call it n2 and then we also want to pass the middle point up to which the arrays needs to be merged now let's declare the array that will store the result of merging say int merged equal to new int of since we're gonna only do the merging up to the midpoint let's create the size as mid plus one we are going to need three pointers to traverse through all three arrays so let's say int pointer one equal to zero int pointer two equal to zero and int pointer 3 equal to 0. Now if one of the array is null or empty, in that case there is nothing to be merged, we can simply return the other array. So let's check if n1.length equal to 0, then we will return n2. Similarly if and 2 dot length equal to 0 then we will return n1 now let's say both n1 and F n2 have values in that case we're going to have to do some merging so let's check while pointer 1 is less than n1 dot length and then pointer 2 is less than n2 dot length and we only want to do the merging up to the midpoint so we will also check pointer 3 is less than or equal to midpoint okay so currently currently our pointer 1 is pointing here and then pointer 2 is pointing here and merged is practically empty so our pointer 3 is pointing here as long as pointer 1 and pointer 2's values are less than their respective array sizes, we're going to do the comparison. Since 1 is less than 3, we're going to put the value of 1 to the merged array. And then we're going to increment the pointer 3 to the next element. And we're also going to increment the pointer 1. Now let's go ahead and write the logic for that. If n1 of pointer 1 is less than n2 of pointer 2, then 
merged of pointer 3 plus plus equal to n1 of pointer 1 plus plus. Else, let's say if this value was greater than this value, in that case we would have taken the smaller value into the merged array. So we will say else pointer 3 plus plus equal to n2 of pointer 2. Because this condition is satisfied, we're going to continue with our comparison. So we will compare, to, in this case 2 is less than 3, so we will move 2 into merged array. Okay, now we're going to increment the value of pointer 3 to point to the next element. And we are going to also increment the value of the pointer 1. Okay, so now our pointer 1 is pointing outside our array sizes, right? So now we don't have any more values in array 1 that we can compare with the value of array 2. That means we no longer need to do any comparison. We simply bring in the value from the array 2 into our merged array. While pointer 2 is less than n2.length and pointer 3 is less than or equal to mid. In that case, we will simply bring in all the elements from array 2 into the merged array. In, in our case, the pointer 1 ran out of the scope of the array, but it could also be the, the case with array 2. So in that case, we will check if pointer 1 is less than the length of n1 and pointer 3 is less than or equal to mid. In that case, we will bring the value of n1 array into our merged array. And at the end, we will return merge. At the end of this function, we will receive an array merged as 1, 2, and 3 merged only up to the middle point. Now that we have the merged array, we can focus on getting the median. So in this case, our Array 1 have two elements and Array 2 have three elements. So our third element is the middle point, which will be our median. Let's go ahead and write the code for that. So first we want to find out the total element. So int total is equal to nums1.length plus nums2.length. Okay. And then int mid is equal to total divide by 2. Now we're going to actually call the merged array function that we created. So let's say int array because the function is going to return an array of integers. So let's call it merged array equal to merged array. And then we're going to have to pass the two arrays nums1, nums2, and then we're also going to pass the mid. Now we're going to check if the total number of elements in both these arrays are odd. If they are odd, then we will simply return the middle element. If total modulus 2 is not equal to 0, that means the total is odd. In that case, we will simply return. Now, if you see here, it's expecting us to return the value as double so we will say double merged array of mid okay so we're simply returning the midpoint but let's say we had one more element here number six here in that case our merged array would have been one two three four and then beyond the middle point we're not going to do any merging so these two will be over two middle elements Right? Our mid pointer would be somewhere here. But we want to take the average of these two values and send that as the median. So let's say else return double. And then of course we want to do the average. So I'm going to create merged array of mid plus merged array of mid minus 1 and the 
whole thing divide by 2 that would be the median so in this case that will be 7 divided by 2 which would be 3.5 okay okay now let's go ahead and submit our code if you're able to follow what I was saying give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe